electric lights bring medieval walls to life. The Swiss town of Murten is glowing in the winter dark. And festival goers' eyes seem to light up along with it. It's very good, I'm impressed. It's very nice, the, the contact with the technology, with the old buildings, and uh, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's really something special. It's got so many objects, and so many people are coming and you keep running into something new. It's just full of great ideas. The Light Festival's main attraction is an animation projected onto the local school building by the French artist group Spectaculaire. It's a lesson in imagination not just for kids. It's a story that everyone knows. Everyone's been to school. It's got just enough poetry and nostalgia to send everyone, big and small, back to school. Morten, in the canton of Fribourg, has just over 8,000 residents and is located on the German-French language border. The old town with its ring wall and nearby Lake Morat are tourist attractions in the summer. The Festival of Lights was conceived to give people a reason to visit in winter as well. We'd like this event with the light animations to generate a little bit of a buzz in the winter. Our aim is very clear. Over the next five to ten years, we want to become Switzerland's capital of light. Some 40 regional and international artists are taking part. Claudia Rey is from Germany. She's been working with light graphics and installations for about 10 years now. When she heard about the Festival of Lights in Morton, she came here to let the town inspire her. Lake Morat inspired me to see what happens when I look into the water. What or whom do I see? My reflection? Or do I look into my soul? Do I see other people? Or sunken tails in the water? She created a projection for the Chateau Courtyard, a show that changes a little bit every evening, because Claudia Rey alters it live. A few hundred meters away in the church, light is combined with music. The musicians carefully time their playing to coincide with the action of the light animation. Martin is hosting a total of 36 installations. The organizers expect up to 100,000 visitors. Some of the attractions are even interactive. I found it very inspiring, really interesting, exciting. Some things were also very funny. It was fun. The Festival of Lights goes for 12 days. 12 days for Merton to prove it's Switzerland's capital of light. <laughs> <laughs>